Hello, Wesley Church. I'd like to share a verse from the Kingdom Parables of Matthew 13. Then I want to consider how, as we draw to the end of our series on iron sharpening iron, how this simple parable informs our building relationships and nurturing one another in the Lord. This is Matthew 13, 33. Jesus told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. I love the kingdom parables, but just looking at one of them like this in a standalone manner, it can make it a little hard to understand. Let me fill in some detail. Jesus came preaching this. He came preaching, change, people change your hearts and lives because the kingdom of God is arriving. Jesus was highlighting a number of truths about God and about God's kingdom using the parables and saying this is what this new kingdom looks like that is arriving through his ministry. The kingdom of God is not like anything on earth. It's something different. Here's what it looks like. Recognize it. Be part of it. Now in this short parable, the kingdom of God is small. It's yeast. It's like yeast in a, in a pile of dough, in a pile of flour. It looks benign. It looks like it doesn't have much power. It's just yeast. But mix it into the flour of the world, and wow, there's transformation that begins. A little bit of kingdom ways, a little bit of kingdom heart, of kingdom thinking, of kingdom living, can bring tremendous impact. Jesus insists we must not think that small is powerless. But a little bit is mighty when it comes to the ways of God's kingdom. Now, we've spent several Sundays looking at examples in Scripture set by the Apostle Paul and his friends. They were willing to risk starting friendships that might seem very challenging at first. They were willing to be advocates and encouragers of one another, willing to mentor each other and empower each other to serve the Lord. They were willing to be that kind of iron sharpening iron. These dynamics are the scriptural examples for us. This is what our friendships are to be, building one another up in, in the faith. But we look at these examples, Paul, Barnabas, Silas, Lydia, and they seem to tower. They seem daunting as examples because they're just larger than life. They're the disciples, they're the apostles. That, and, and they tower across the ages, and we might feel like, I'll never be that. But remember, the kingdom of God is not always about big and powerful. The kingdom of God is often about the small and yet still mighty. A small bit of yeast into a load of a flour, and it will become bread. What small step can you take in the direction of building up a friend in the faith? Will you allow the Holy Spirit to, to put someone on your heart and some small step of faithfulness? Begin to pray for that person and then take that small step of love, of kingdom heart for that person. Mix a little yeast in, the yeast of God's reign that is in your life. Bring it to that relationship. And let God do the rest. Let God do mighty things. This Sunday, Lydia shows us the importance of small things done with great love in God's kingdom. Come worship with us. I hope to see you Sunday.